Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is a lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Strandberg is a lunatic. No, he is capitalism. I mean, that's what we all want this day and age, right? Whoa, when you look at this pottery. I mean, I'm not an expert or anything, but that. Snail me, snail me, no bones. Want to try some snail me? What should we do? If Crystal Dawn get involved, should we take action? No, no, we can't. Matters of national security, but I, I just run a shoe shop. It's out of my hands. Take Sir, you can't just command. walk through here. <laughs> Who'd you have to salute to get this post? Not bad, huh? I figure since no one knows about the escape tunnel, this is the easiest gig in town. I mean, all we gotta do is... Oh, shit! What? Shit! I forgot to leave the all-excess keycard in the parking garage. Whoa. Are you kidding? Uh, I need to get back there before XO tears me a new one. All, all right, I'll hold down the fort. Take the tunnel, it's way faster. Yeah, yeah. What's up? General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prisoner. I hear they were close, so what do you do, poor bastard? The way I heard it, what are You're in. 
Good work, 47. Now to locate General Zaydan. Prisoner, not never you mind. General Zaydan says the man's a traitor, and that's all there is to it. Probably got cold feet about the operation. Tried to rat us out. Ask the captain. He'll know. I tell you, I don't care what anyone says. That Zaydan is not all he's cracked up to be. He likes to pretend that he's solid or something, but he's just a guy with a shiny uniform and an ego to match. Oh, you're preaching to the choir, man. I tell ya, I don't care what anyone says, that Zayden is not all he's cracked up to be. He likes to pretend that he's solid or something, but he's just a guy with a shiny uniform and an ego to match. Oh, <laughs> you're preaching to the choir, man. Seriously, though, do you believe for a second that Zayden is masterminding this coup by himself? Come on, he doesn't have the smarts. He can strike the fear of God into men and Charm the niggers off most women. But you and I both know Reza Zayden is no mastermind. <laughs> you said it. You said it good. No. Bloody... Those dogs are going to regret this. Me? What about you? You were saying a bunch of nasty shit. Hey, I didn't say anything. You agree. You agree. If anybody's listening, that's just as bad. Okay, just, 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 just shush, Shurin. He's a busy man. Chances are he didn't hear anything. Just be cool. Be cool. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <clears throat> no harm done. No harm done! Are you completely out of your minds? You think you can just disrespect your superiors without consequences? Shame on you. I should have you both court-martialed. Now get back to your post. Command, we need some help here. We've had an Target accident. Target down. Looks bad. Move on to Klaus Strand. Yeah, copy that. Attention, this is First Lieutenant Olivier. We are on full alert. General Zayden is dead. I repeat, General Zayden is dead. I am assuming command and issuing a full gag order until the circumstances behind the incident have been determined. Any leakage could endanger the whole operation and will be considered treason to the cause. Stand by for further orders. Over now. How you doing? Are you some kind of soldier? Hey, what's up?
know, I know, okay? I gotta be honest with you, that is the worst parking job I've ever seen. How did you even build up the speed? I don't know, it's all a bit of a blur. Let's split before anyone sees us. Just tell my father-in-law the protesters did. You made it. Most Grand impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus right? Strandberg. Massage expert Connie Angstrom report at the reception desk. That was Connie Angstrom. Please go to the reception desk. Yeah, yeah, sure, of course. I just, I just don't see the need for all the secrecy. And you don't have to. Orders are orders. Look, trust me, you don't want us in the building. We don't exactly inspire a sense of tranquility. I can't have your men buzzing around here. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. We need to talk to the boss man about these uniforms again. This polyester sticking to my... Oh, God. <clears throat> Attention all personnel. This is a level four security announcement. A terrible accident just occurred.
enjoy, sir. Compromise, but I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. It probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern, and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. How much was there? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Dig a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 